Target found. The PS3 is a PC. It really is. You could install Linux on it with a feature called Other OS. Until a certain Sony removed that feature. But have no fear. What Sony takes, hackers bring back. We will install Red Ribbon Linux, a Debian based distro, which SteamOS used to be based on. Until SteamOS 3.0, this PS3 will be a steaming pile of deck. Ah, this console really is a favorite of mine. First, we put a few files on a USB drive which is done. To launch Linux, a bootloader called Petit Boot is needed. Now that Petit Boot is set up, we launch Petit Boot and from there Red Ribbon Live. It took a while, but look, it launched. Believe it or not, so far this has been the easiest thing I've done on this channel. But you know it never stays that way. Oh and did you know that Saddam Hussein used to have a supercomputer with PS2s and the US Air Force used to have a supercomputer with PS3s? That's interesting. My first mistake is not far away. It's there's no partition to install Linux on, but I wanted Linux on the hard drive. So I opened Petit Boot again to type in the commands needed to partition the HDD. Optimistically, I carried on launching it once again. And of course, it froze. But this will not stop me from achieving my dreams. So I use the proven method called pulling the plug. So after another reboot, we are inside of Linux again. But surprise, surprise, still no partition. You know what? We can still do most of the things this has to offer. So I look through the built-in programs and surprisingly, there's plenty of them. And this time, we were connected to the Wi-Fi internet browser. We launched the browser and yeah, it's slow. Not as slow as Windows on the Android phone. You really get to feel the full power of the 220 megabytes of RAM. I tried to open YouTube and to be fair, we got into the website barely because nothing was loading. But that's no surprise. YouTube is extremely resource hungry. So I tried something easier. I I googled Android x86, which I installed on a PC in my first video, and we can look through pictures of it. We can't open the official page though, guess the browser is just too old. I wanted to see what else the Steam Deck has to offer, and we have LibreOffice, and yeah, it works. This will sound crazy, but you can actually be productive with this monstrosity if you really have nothing else at all. I also decided to try out paint and drew something. What were you thinking, huh? At last, I tried to peek a look under the hood with NeoFetch, but this distro has no NeoFetch. But with this command, we can view some interesting things about a CPU. So here, take a look. I looked up if I can install emulators or games on this, but didn't find anything. But if there's interest, I will look further into Red Ribbon and if there's some gaming related applications on it. But hey, if I want to play games, I could play on a Philips CDI. Oh, and the PS3 plays games too. I was really surprised with the amount of things you could do with Linux. No, I'm not an iPhone user. You know what else runs Linux? My Switch! Next! Remember this PS3? It runs Linux. That's kinda all it did in the last episode. But I wanted to play games with this PS3 on Linux. Can we actually play games on a PS3? Stick around to find out if I found a way. Let's get to it. This time, I had to install Linux on a hard drive. Now I tried a different approach this time to do so. External hard drive. And yes, there's the partition. Never would have done it without you. The the PS3 Steam Deck, the cool groove, but it couldn't have just worked. No, because my f ass installed it in German, so I had to reinstall it again. But this time, it froze during the partition process, and then it was stuck. I used a different hard drive, and it worked. Now we are done. We tight. First, I tried to update the distro, which already is very old. We try to make it a bit less old. Being old has consequences here. Updating wasn't possible because all the repos were offline. Whatever. I then tried to enable hardware acceleration to add some performance to the already weak specs we have to work with. But no, this thing doesn't want to improve. Kinda reminds me of myself. But I won't give up. The CPU of this thing isn't bad. The cell processor was very good for its time. If only it wasn't so difficult to program for. Anyway, maybe we can get some older emulators to run. And the first game I want to try out is the game you might have heard of at some point. Then we'll try some Something slightly newer but still old. I attempted an old emulator, but this PS3 doesn't want it. Mm, 
why won't you play something? I had a final plan, play something, anything. I tried online games, you know, the ones you can play on the internet, the old flash games. I tried it with the red bummer and nothing. There was nothing. We did it. We made this game console impossible to game with. Who needs games I can actually play that work? No, let's make it unable to play something. <laughs> all in all, despite the PS3 being a really weak PC, even when it released, running a PC operating system on a console has always been such an interesting concept to me. Even if the performance will obviously not be good, but just the fact that it can be done is why I'm doing this and enjoy it so much. And I hope you enjoyed it as much as I